Well, I've been participating from the first edition because I've come from this industry and Telecom Review Summit um, has always been uh, a, uh, a close friend to, to myself uh, and uh, I've been in the telecoms industry uh, for a long time. I think it's a very successful summit, uh, a very good place for people to meet, sh uh, exchange ideas and uh, develop new ideas uh, as, uh, as they discuss and talk and network. Yeah, I think it's not about a matter of readiness as much as it is about the need. Uh, and in a system that um, is not extremely advanced technologically, when you introduce uh, technology, uh, the effect is exponential. So uh, you, you get to see the difference uh, significantly, particularly when it comes to rural areas, underserved areas. Uh, suddenly they, they gain access to uh, health services and healthcare at uh, advanced levels. Uh, and parts of the population that previously did not have the same level of access start having this access. It makes a big, huge difference on the economic side, on the um, uh, health outcome uh, side and the public health uh, indicators in, in general. So uh, it's not about readiness, it's about a desperate need uh, for us to uh, leapfrog all the developments that other countries have uh, made in terms of digitization. We're also lucky that if you don't actually have advanced systems and you introduce a system, you don't have to uh, uh, transfer uh, the old records and old systems into something new. You're introducing a greenfield solution. It's much faster, much more effective, and much more valuable uh, when it's introduced. Yeah, in Lebanon we're introducing in the region the first kind of uh, mass deployment in primary health care for remote, uh, remote uh, health, for remote medicine. Uh, this basically is an, a small, very flexible and very cheap technology that's uh, been designed to be deployed at home uh, to uh, connect a patient to their physicians remotely with uh, the capability of running about 16 different uh, tests, including ECG and uh, sugar levels, etc. Uh, but given that uh, uh, we may not have the level of readiness at the individual level to have it at home, and it would be fairly expensive if it's done in individual homes, we're introducing it in primary healthcare centers where it is assisted. There are you know, technicians and nurses who can assist the patient in running the tests and at the same time those primary health care centers are connected to university hospitals so that the physicians can consult uh, and can look at the patient and have a discussion live and see the results live. It's not only university hospitals in Lebanon but also the Lebanese diaspora uh, in the medical field. Uh, all the physicians who have a license to operate in Lebanon but they live abroad who want to help their local communities can actually log into the system book the time uh, for consultations and run those consultations with the local population. This gives a large number of people immediate access to quality health care. The early trials that we have run have showed that 40% of consultations in the primary health care centers uh, have been done on a uh, remote uh, medicine uh, platform.